Hello everyone, I've got some exciting ideas to share with you today. I've been playing with my new Jane Davenport mermaid dies and seashell stamps. So let me move those and then I can show you what I've been making. This is a work in progress but uh, it gives you an idea of some things you can do with the dies. I've been using the, the off cuts from the die cutting machine, the bits you'd normally throw away and using those as a little stencil to make some figures. <clears throat> I used Distress Ink and a make makeup sponge there just to ink through those and then building up the stages of the figure. This one on the end here is using the die cut pieces themselves as the stencil. You can pop that on there, and I've just inked around there. Uh, she's a bit of a ghostly looking figure at the moment, but um, I think I'll be able to make something more exciting from that later. And then if we flip over, I've got some more pictures to show you over here. This one is... Sorry, I'm getting it lined up for you. This one I've used the die cut pieces again as a mask and I've used some double sided repositionable tape on the back of those and then I've just saved them on a piece of plastic so I can use them again another time. I've just inked around those with some distress ink and makeup sponge and uh, inked the background a bit and some splashes, you've got to have some splashes. And then her little friend at the top there, the seahorse, has come from the stamps that come with the with the die set. Uh, there he is. And then I've used oh yes, I've used the um, that's part of the die cutting set to stencil the scales on there. And then if we flip over. I've used the the hair from those stamps. So we've also got a little bikini and some faces. There's three faces. And so I've used the hair for these two girls. And then I've used some acrylic paint over the top just to cover up the bit that's in the way. And then I've made my own mermaids there. And this one is the die cuts again, just as a mask and some inky background and then I've splashed water on there just to give it a nice effect. She's got some wafty hair and then if we flip over again we've got a fuller picture this one with the seashell stamps as the background and the border. She's peeking out <laughs> and then when you open up your mermaid's in there and she's protecting her she's protecting her lovely pink pearl that she's got down there everything's jointed so she can move there you are that's better there when you open up start again when you open up there she is she's protecting her pearl and then she can swim out because of all her joints she can swim out across your page. I've fixed it in the centre there so she stays there. So there's some different ideas to use your Jane Davenport mermaid dies. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like and subscribe. If you click the notification bell, you'll be notified next time I post a video. So until then...